The second annual electric vehicle Grand Prix, better known as the EV Grand Prix, was held April 30th. The EV Grand Prix is a counterpart to Purdue's historic Grand Prix race. However, for the EV Grand Prix, teams hand-build carts that are completely powered by electricity instead of traditional gas-powered motors. And the EV Grand Prix is um, basically they use the same uh, go-kart chassis as they do for the gas Grand Prix. And they basically they just use batteries instead of gas. This race is the first of its kind as it is the first electric go-kart race in the nation. We can get back to that top spot as all five lead cars are coming around the final turns and back down the home stretch here. Cart number 11 in the lead. That is Justin Cleaver. 17 teams from universities across the nation and Europe participated in the EV Grand Prix this year. They wanted to build uh, research links with Purdue University um, and they invited us to take part in this EV Grand Prix. I thought it was a pretty good idea so we took them up on the offer, came over and that's our result. All teams faced many technical challenges during the race, such as broken chains, burned out motors and replacing batteries and tires. The EV Grand Prix promotes electric and hybrid vehicle research and gives students hands-on experience in an important developing technology. All right, put the pins on, let's go. Great. Where's our pins at? You got all three? Yep. I think this race is a huge step in um, just electric vehicles in general. I mean, things that we use every day. A lot of the reason why they do the EV Grand Prix is for testing purposes. Just to see what types of batteries can do what, what kind of performance can we get out of them. So I think the fact that we're able to do research and able to do studies on it is going to help us in transportation in the future in general. The race came down to the wire, but the eventual champion was Justin Cleaver driving cart number 11. As you were coming down the final turns and down the home stretch, did you sense that he was right next to you and making a push for the championship? Yeah, I definitely felt him bump me through the last corner, and uh, I knew I didn't have a whole lot of power left, so it was, it was just a matter of staying, trying to weave in front of him. So, Well done. <laughs>